Guys, congratulations on the film. Amazing job. But I got to know, out of the three of you, who would be the winner of, of Motorball? Um... The best skater there is. No, a horrible skater. <laughs> I think it's him. George? I was because saying, he plays oh. dirty. Yeah. And isn't that what Motorball is? Yeah. Like, you kind of got to play a little dirty. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. It'd be me. <laughs> It'd be you. <laughs> um, first of all, your character, Hugo, uh, is amazing. And he's written, written so well. Yeah. I think that with Alita, obviously she's a cyborg, but it's her human interactions that really define her. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me about the complexities of Hugo and Alita's relationship? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Hugo also, you know, he's, he's been in this world, you know, since birth, and he remembers everything, and he remembers kind of how, you know, uh, crappy this world has treated, treated him. Uh, so there's a lot of, I think a lot of like, you know, young teen anger, doesn't have a family, uh, but he meets Alita, and he sees this kind of innocence, and um, he thinks that's you know something that he wants to protect and take care of. Um, so through that, you know, he's he's still doing things that he's not so proud of, but spending more time with her, he realizes that you know maybe there's another way, you know, to you know ultimately find what he defines as happiness. Uh, George, your character is not the biggest fan of Alita. Tanji is not the biggest fan of her. Why is that? Well. You know, he understands that the, the reason he's in this city of, of Iron City is partly due to Erm and, and the things that happened in the fall, which Alita, uh, although she doesn't remember, could very well be a part of it. So Tanji, you know, he he knows that maybe not directly, but through some degrees, the reason he's he's here is because mm -hmm. of the technology that built Alita. So I feel like it's it's based on something that's honest and it's it's. He feels, I feel like jaded, but for, for a real reason, because it's, it's not fair to him. Sure. Um, now, Koyomi, she's kind of, she's a part of this group. Uh, talk to me about her opinion on Alita. Oh, I think she loves her. I think she really likes her. Um, I think that she was hoping for a friend, a female friend, because um, it seems that I run with the, the guys. Um, so she, all she wants to do is support Alita and encourage her, and and it's such a it is such a it's a beautiful world, but it it, it can be quite savage. And I think that um, Koyomi just wanted to give her a piece of like hope and just like you're doing okay, like you're doing better than okay. So yeah, she's just there to support support. <laughs> Visually, this is one of the most stunning movies I've ever seen, and and the three D is just so seamless. Everything is mm -hmm. looks brilliant. So, out of curiosity, how much of that is practical, and how much is that is in front of you? Because it's so much that you mm -hmm. have to kind of imagine that's fantastical, but so much of it can be practical. Um, Iron City was super practical because he had um, Robert Rodriguez built that in his back lot at Troublemaker. So oh, wow. the whole city is there. Um, I think vehicles worked. Mm -hmm. um, your motorcycle? Did not work. Did not work. <laughs> but looked real. But looked real. Uh, here's the thing, things that were CG or things that were going to be digitized in some fashion, they still very much looked really real. Seamless, so yeah. So acting on, it, it, he, the filmmakers made it very easy to act. Very easy because they set you down right into a real life city with people and all these things and so you know it actually wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be